Hello, I am Kim and I am a part of the Dynamics 365 Business Central Essentials team here at Encore Business Solutions. In today's video, we will review how to post a credit memo and apply the credit memo to the invoice. In my demo company, I have already created two invoices that I need to correct. First one is for first up consultants and also not publishers. Move, move over to the purchase credit memo screen. Select new to create a new purchase, purchase credit memo. And for the vendor name, the first one will be for first up consultants. We'll enter the credit memo number. The type as I've entered on the invoice was GL account. Account 60260. Quantity of one. And that was for $84.20. Now that all the details match the invoice, we'll preview the posting to see the effects to the GL. Once confirmed, we can post this. Now to apply the entries, we'll move to vendor ledger entries. From here, we can see the credit memo for 8420, and it remains open as well as the invoice. To apply these, we'll select process and apply entries. Since we've selected the credit memo, we'll need to find the invoice. Down below, we'll find the amount and the invoice. Select process and set applies to ID. Now what we need to look for is make sure that there's a balance of zero and then post the application. To confirm, we can scroll over and the remaining amounts are at zero and they are both closed. The other option is to create a purchase credit memo via the copy document feature. This will auto apply the documents to one another upon posting. So we'll create a new one. Enter the vendor name as not publishers, Select process and copy document. We want the document type as a posted invoice, and now we have to find the document. Here's the line that I need to correct. We want to include the header details, but we do not want to recalculate the lines. Select OK. And the, in the lines, the GL account populates from the invoice and the comment is added referring that invoice number. We'll add the credit memo number. And scroll down to application and we can see that. The applies to document type is invoice and it refers to the invoice that was initially posted. We can preview the posting to see the effects to the GL. And once confirmed, post. Now with the copy document feature, again, it auto applies those together. So if we go to vendor ledger entries, we can see that for Nod publishers, the credit, the remaining amount is at zero and is no longer open. This concludes how to create a purchase credit memo and apply the credit to the invoice in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.